I head back to London this week for a full schedule of meetings, debates and parliamentary questions, including a PMQ with the new Prime Minister on Wednesday. So do let me know if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see asked. Unbelievably, parliamentary recess has come and gone without any recall taking place to tackle the energy price crisis. Energy bills and inflation are now predicted to rise further than ever before and remain so for years to come or the energy companies stand to make over 170 billion in excess profits. Finally though, we had a suggestion from the outgoing PM. If you have an old kettle that takes ages to boil, it may cost you 20 pounds to replace it. But if you get a new one, you'll save 10 pounds a year for every year on your, 10, 10, 10 pounds a year every year on your electricity bill. Well that and new nuclear power stations. While Liz Truss has signalled a move towards fracking and extracting more North Sea oil, that is the same North Sea oil we have been repeatedly told was running out, was exhausted and would be a liability to an independent Scotland. What we need is a move away from fossil fuels and into renewables. Scotland already produces 98% of our energy needs from renewable sources. And we have the opportunity for much more with 25% of Europe's wind and tidal potential. There is no place for fuel poverty in such an energy rich country. Unionists will probably try telling us that the wind will run out and the seas will run dry if we vote for independence. The reality is that our money will run out paying for their failed energy policy. It's more vital than ever that we obtain full powers in times of crisis. Having those powers and levers at our disposal is essential. It's not just energy policy that the UK has mismanaged, as figures show that countries the size of Scotland are wealthier than the UK. A situation unlikely to change with the latest new government we didn't vote for, as it pursues policies which take us in a different direction than we would choose for ourselves. As always, if you require an advice surgery appointment or a visit to your local group or business, call me on 01506 654415 or email at martin.day.mp at parliament.uk. And until next week, stay safe. Oh.